<sighs> oh, you're me swilling, yeah? Me old science teacher. What are you doing here? Oh, Dad, when I get home, we need to talk. Dad, you know what today is, don't ya? Two years since Mum died. I don't mind as much you getting busy on any other day, but today... That's just wrong. He's so selfish, man. All he cares about is himself and keeping himself busy. Hi, Mum. They treating you well up there? His granddad's still telling his work stories. Of course he is. Dad's much the same. You'd probably say I'm turning into him. Probably right. I'd like to think I'm nicer than him, though. It's not easy. You not being around. I still forget. As soon as I finish work, I think I can't wait to tell Mum about today. Then I get home. Then I realise that you're not around. Two years and it still hasn't sunk in. I miss you. Dad, why are you crying? Yeah, you messed up. Yeah, she was amazing. Why didn't you come with me? She would have liked it. Our relationship hasn't been great deep down for the last two years, mate. We get on like best mates. But then I hear what you say about mum to all these women that you have around here. You forget that she was my mum. I know that your marriage wasn't perfect, but I love her. She was my mum. And you disrespecting her like that is just horrible. Fair to say, me like missus could have been better. It makes me want to smash your face in. Then today, you hooking up with some woman on the anniversary of mum's death. And not even going to see her at the grave. That's the worst. Come here. Two pints, please. Yeah, there used to be a karaoke bit in the corner. Me earliest memories was you and mum getting up and doing karaoke. Used to go all night. People used to say you two should have gone pro. Look, live your life how you want to live it. Just think before you say and before you act. The littlest thing can really play on someone's mind. I should listen to my own advice. Back on track, mate. Say, Pa.